Thank you so much for joining me on this Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. The heat dome is with us. Now, look at this map, and again, all of us in the kind of these brighter colors, but look at this shading here that even has some dark red and white in it, including the Caribbean, uh, much of the, uh, all of the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and much of the southeastern United States. This is extremely hot weather. We're talking about a lot of the temperatures around 95 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 37 degrees Celsius, even hotter higher in spots. And yeah, that does correspond to very warm water. Water temperatures are at records right now. The highest we've seen on record. Again, as you go back in time in history, uh, pre-records, uh, I'm sure they've been hotter at times. Uh, but with that, as far as our records we have, this is as warm as it's been in some spots for this time of year. I was just checking in in South Florida. Look at that shading and back toward the Bahamas, over toward the Northern Caribbean. You see some of those brighter colors showing up? We're talking about some of the water temperatures, 30 to about 32, 33 degrees Celsius. Some of the water temperatures in the 90s. It is so, so warm. Some of the water temperatures right around 95 degrees over toward the Florida Keys. Why am I bringing that up? Because that feeds tropical systems. Now, what's going on is there's a lot of dust out there, so that's been preventing some tropical systems from forming for now. But once the pattern changes and there's more moisture up there, that is all going to feed off of these water temperatures. And that's why I mentioned back in March that I believe this would be an above average hurricane season. And so far, that's what we've uh, seen. Now, here on this map, this is versus average. Now, you see again these yellow shadings across much of the Caribbean, even some of the red shadings. That simply means the temperatures for this time of year are running above average, and in certain cases, well above average, hence some of the records that we have been dealing with, some crazy temperatures. So we have the warm water temperatures, but not necessarily all these storms, a ton of storms developing right now. And that's thanks in part because of the dust out there. I want to show you the current conditions with the dust. Yesterday's video, I was showing you that dust forecast for the week. Well, we have some of the dust around Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago. We've had some rounds of dust around in another batch again that is going to move in by tomorrow that will eventually start to slide in. So tons of dust across the Atlantic Basin. The Atlantic Basin means the Atlantic Ocean, Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico. So again, uh, very unusual stuff for this time of year to be so warm. That's why June was so active in the uh, tropics. Right now, we've had a bit of a break out there, thanks in part to the dust. Watching a few tropical waves in this blob to the east of Bermuda, small chance it does develop. The National Hurricane Center is still seeing a kind of a medium chance that it does develop. But regardless of development, and let me show you the models, that is just going to kind of spin out there in the North Atlantic, even if it were to develop and get closer closer to the Azores, it should be weakening. So a chance it develops the next day or so. We'll see how that goes. If that does get a name, it would get the next name on the list. And the next name on the list is Don. Then we have Emily, Franklin, and Gert after that. And I do believe later this month, we are going to see stronger tropical waves rolling off the coast of Africa. On the flip side, in the eastern Pacific, look at that blob right there. That is now Tropical Storm Calvin. And what's interesting about this, while it is going to continue to stay away from Mexico, for example, away from El Salvador, Guatemala, away from the United States, away from California, it may eventually hang together to get pretty close to Hawaii down the road. So I'll be watching that. Forecast on Calvin, a tropical storm the next couple days, then it should become a hurricane and then weaken a little bit in the uh, Pacific, some cooler water. But some of the models, including the European model, hinting that some of it may hang together as it gets close to Hawaii. So I'll keep an eye on that. And again, on the Eastern Pacific side, a different list of names. We already had Adrian and Beatrice and Calvin looks to be the next hurricane. Dora, Eugene, Fernanda and Greg after that on the Eastern Pacific side. Back through the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, we are very quiet. Bahamas looking good, but looking good also means very hot and dusty for many of us. May get a pop-up storm in Jamaica today. I'll get to those forecasts in just a second, but I want to show you this. This is one tropical wave that's moved in. Another weak tropical wave bringing some storms near Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, even Colombia. This here just to the north of the ABC Islands, but overnight across the ABC Islands, you may have caught a quick shower. We'll take it. We'll take whatever we could get.
get in certain spots. So with this tropical wave today, a better chance of storms, British, U.S. Virgin Islands, back toward the Virgin Islands, over toward Puerto Rico as well. Puerto Rico will see some storms. Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Guyana, Suriname, a surge of moisture. That's going to be around for a few days. So Trinidad and Tobago, we're simply going to see scattered showers and storms. Really, for the long haul, we'll see on and off periods of that. Now, this is into our Thursday, higher rain chance parts of Central America. Then Haiti and the Dominican Republic tomorrow. Again, on our Thursday afternoon, the rain chance bumps up. Not a washout over toward Trinidad and Guyana, but still an elevated chance of rain. You see how it just kind of sticks around down there. So for us in the southeastern Caribbean, Venezuela included, Guyana, even near Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago, the rain chance by the end of the week with the next tropical wave will get even higher. And then by the end of the week, hopefully we get a little rain in parts of Jamaica and the Cayman Islands where we have been so dry, not as much in Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. So let me get into these forecasts. Now I just showed you in Trinidad and Tobago, by Friday, the rain chance getting higher. Again, scattered showers and storms the next few days and nights. We could see some at night, but by Friday, the rain chance bumps up with that next tropical wave. So I'll be watching that closely. And again, a 50% chance of rain today in Grenada. Next tropical wave gets closer on Friday, back to a 50% chance. St. Vincent and the uh, Grenadines, some scattered showers today a 40% chance tomorrow, and as we work our way into our Friday. St. Lucia passing showers, 40% chance today on the back side of a tropical wave, and we swing back to my friends in Barbados, 40% chance today, 30% chance tomorrow. It ticks up again on Friday because, again, that next tropical wave that will be headed into the Eastern Caribbean. Dominica rain chance goes down very limited tomorrow and Friday. We're back down to about a 20% chance of a shower or storm. Same thing, Guadeloupe and Martinique. Now we swing back to St. Kitts and Nevis, 40% chance of showers today, a 30% chance Thursday and Friday. It'll be isolated Thursday and Friday. Same thing in St. Martin, Saba, Stacia, and even over toward Montserrat. Rain chance pretty limited Thursday and Friday. It would be that small chance of a passing shower. Slightly better chance today. Antigua, Barbuda, a 40% chance today, down to a 20% chance tomorrow. Anguilla, a 30% chance today, and then a very isolated chance tomorrow. And as we work our way into Friday, scattered showers the next couple days across much of the Virgin Islands. Not all of us get it, not all day stuff, but again, a 50% chance for today. Puerto Rico, a 60% chance today. The next two days will be active with this tropical wave that is sliding in. Hopefully that brings you some relief. And as we swing back toward the Dominican Republic, again, some scattered showers and storms will be around over the next couple days. Hopefully you get some and they help fill up some of those cisterns. See that rain chance about 50% today and tomorrow as we work our way through Haiti, scattered showers and some thunderstorms. Jamaica, not a lot, nothing widespread. Stuff is to the east, stuff is to the west. We are in between. So Montego Bay, Falmouth, again, a passing shower or a thunderstorm. There still could be a couple downpours, but again, not a ton around. Cayman Islands, rain chance about 30%, hoping it gets a little bit higher as we get down the road. In Belize, isolate it. Again, a little while ago, we had a better chance of rain. Isolate it, better chance in our southern zones. We already had a few showers and storms around this morning. Aruba, very limited. Again, we've had a few passing showers the last few days, a 10 to 20% chance, a 10% chance today. Curacao, about a 20% chance today. Very limited as well. Thursday and Friday. Keep me posted in the comments on the uh, dust you may have or, or don't have. Guyana, rain chance stays high. Isolated flooding. Keep me posted in Guyana over toward uh, Georgetown. Rain chance elevated. It is going to get higher on Friday with another tropical wave that will be moving in. Bahamas, rain chance kind of isolated lower, a 20 to 30 percent chance. So again, the North Atlantic, the possibility of some development between Bermuda and the Azores, but that'll stay out there. I'll be tracking those tropical waves. I continue to pump in that next one again arriving by the time we get into Friday, but also those big areas of dust that I was talking about. And of course, the heat, the heat dome is in place. If you are not getting rain, you are hot. We expect it to be hot this time of year, but these are above average temperatures in the air and in the water. Monitoring Calvin, which could get a little bit closer to Hawaii. Again, that's on the Pacific side and watching for these recent earthquakes. There was another one late yesterday. It was a little more, a little farther away uh, to the northeast of the Caribbean. But again, there's been a few earthquakes in that spot and I've been highlighting that. 
that. Get over to EarthQC. I'll put a link to that in the comments to uh, cover uh, as many questions as I can about the recent earthquakes and tsunami potential. So thanks for joining me. Keep me posted. I'll see you in the comments. Have a great rest of your day.